Okay, this is a very important type of question that you need to be able to do with standard form um, without a calculator. So we're dividing 3 times 10 to the 9 by um, 6 times 10 to the 11. The key here is to write the thing out as a fraction. Uh, a division is the same as a fraction, so you can write it as 3 times 10 to the 9 over 6 times 10 to the power 11. Um, when you write it like that, it's easier to see that it can be split as 3 over 6 times 10 to the 9 over 10 to the 11. Um, and if you're not sure why, think about multiplying those two fractions. You would times the tops and times the bottoms, to put it crudely. Um, but in that form, we can write 3 over 6 as 0 0.5. And then for 10 to the 9 divided by 10 to the 11, we simply subtract the powers and we have 10 to the power minus 2. So we're almost there, um, but of course this is not in standard form. Uh, the reason being that we have 0 0.5 at the start. It's not a number between 1 and 10. So to correct this, we'll take that and make it into a 5. And what power do we need here? Well, think about what's happened to the 0 0.5. We've made that 10 times bigger to make it the right size. So to compensate, we have to make the power of 10 10 times smaller. Um, so that means decreasing the power of 10 by 1. So from minus 2, we go to minus 3. So the answer 5 times 10 to the minus 3. Uh, next one, this is using a calculator and it's all about just making sure that you can use the buttons correctly. Um, so on your calculator you should have a button which looks a little bit like this times 10 to the power x. That's on the modern Casios or it may look a little bit different depending on the make of your calculator. It might just be an E or it might be EXP. Um, Whatever it is, find out for your calculator what the button is and make sure that you can use it. And in this case, we would just type in 3.4 and then press that button and then press a 12. You don't have to type a, a times or the 10. The button does that for you. Then divide it by 1.2, then press the button, then minus 3. You put that in your calculator and it gives you a very long decimal, 2.833333. I'm not sure how many threes there are until my calculator display runs out and it says times 10 to the power 15 but we want the answer to correct to three significant figures so I'm going to round that at the third sig fig which stays as a three so my answer is 2.83 times 10 to the power of 15 um, just a final word anytime you've got a calculation like this on a calculator which can easily go wrong you need to do a common sense check okay so we're looking at the powers here we've got a big number and we're dividing it by a small number um, a number that's less than 1 and that means yes it should get bigger so we end up with 10 to the power 15 rather than 10 to the power 12 our answer has got bigger it makes sense done